You guys are about to be shocked, but proud of me. So right here, I got a three by three piston door, right? This is my very first ever three by three piston door that I made by myself. Now my other three by three piston door video, it wasn't my design. It was by another YouTuber named Nomoruke. So you guys should definitely go check him out. Go show him some love. He only has like 300 subscribers and he deserves way more than that. He's a genius. But I was scrolling through YouTube and one of my good friends did a tutorial on the same piston door. This one right here. And apparently there was something wrong with it. And Nomoruke also said something about this, how like it can just not work at times. For me, I have had no problems with it. This is like, I, I can use this forever and there's no problem. I've used this in my Let's Play world, no problem. So I, I didn't really think anything of it. And I was thinking since he did another design on his own 3x3 piston door, I should give it a shot since I've never done it before. I'd never even attempted just cause I was, I guess you could say intimidated. So, you know, why not just, you know, to do another video, hopefully get another 60,000 views <laughs> and let's just get right into this. So the design is actually pretty quick and I honestly really like it. And one of my things that I like doing with piston doors is having it all close at once. So like obviously the opening, like the retractions, I would say pretty fast, not the fastest, but pretty fast. But closing, oh, I love doing doors like this where it just closes at once. Anyway, enough chitter chatter and let's get on to the materials. For materials, you'll need your building blocks. I did not count how many, just get, you'll, you won't need a stack, but just get some building blocks. You'll need your nine blocks for your door. You might also want two extra blocks for your door if you want it like kind of like this and you don't want just some random blocks. So I'd say get two extra blocks that al along with your door. One piece of obsidian. You'll need four pieces of glass. You'll need four observers, 11 sticky pistons, nine redstone repeaters, 39 redstone dust, four redstone torches, and two levers. Let's get right into this. First thing what you're going to do is just mark out a ring around where your door will be. So basically, it's kind of like a box around where your closed door will be. So it should be looking like a ring like this. And these blocks should be even with the floor. These blocks should be even with the ceiling. Now we're going to place in our pistons. So we're just going to go two blocks up, break this middle one, and get in our pistons facing down on top. All three blocks. Oops, like that. Then you can break them. And on the sides, for the bottom and middle, on both sides, you're then going to... Oops, I keep breaking extra stuff have your pistons facing in like so. The same, or on the other side, you're gonna do the same thing, like so. On the bottom, you're gonna go three blocks down, punch out the two, uh, the two middle ones, and place two pistons facing up like this. Then go to the left side, you're just gonna simply have a piston facing in like so. Exactly the opposite of where this piston is, you're gonna place a block of obsidian right there. Do is on the side with the piston right there, but then you're gonna have your observer face into the bottom piston, like you know, right below it almost. Going in, the face should be out right here. On top of this observer, you're gonna have your repeater going into this second one on four tick delay. Face, redstone dust there, and then a repeater, three tick delay. Above, crouch place an observer facing up on the repeater. It should be the red dot facing towards the sky. On top of the red dot, place a block. So then what happens is this repeater thing goes off, it'll tick the observer, go, um, send a pulse through this block, powering this piston. Like right here, you're just going to place a block, then you're going to place two blocks like this, repeater going into this block, redstone dust, block on top, and then you can place your lever, just don't use it yet because it can cause it to break. Now back to the back side where we have this uh, observer out of the repeater, this redstone dust that the repeater is connected to. Then to the left of it, break that block if you do have a block there. Observer, or sorry, piston, then observer on top facing out. And coming out through the red dot, repeater, three tick delay. The repeater is going into a block, redstone dust here. And then before you place a block there, you're going to have an observer crouch, place an observer coming out of that, that repeater right there, going into the bottom block. Then you can place your block there. On the side of this block you just placed for that redstone dust, you're going to place a torch block on top and then a torch on the side like so we are almost done so all we gotta do is add in that one row so then we can loop this redstone around but before we get to this torch we don't want this to get powered by the torch so we're gonna place a repeater going into a block go up here redstone dust there repeater there and here four tick delay on this one then go up like so you can then break that block but we basically just need these repeaters going into this block where the second piston is so now this is where you can test it out with your lever. 
double extend and double retract. Awesome. If this does not work for you, just leave a comment asking for help. Either someone else who already did this can help you or I will help you, all right? Now on the back side, right next to this repeater with observer facing up, you know, we're just gonna go up the lock like so. Torch, rest on torch right there, lock on top. We're gonna have a torch off the side, should turn off. Redstone block, or it's not what I'm saying redstone block, normal block on top of the redstone dust here, here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a piece of glass coming off the side of this redstone dust, then on top, normal block there, extend your redstone all the way across on top of the pistons, block here, redstone dust, redstone dust all the way down to here, so we're just on this bottom piston, place a block, redstone dust here, on top of the piston, glass here and here, extend your redstone down, so now, if we just have two repeaters going into this redstone torch or the block with the redstone torch on top of it, put on four tick and then two tick, so uh, max this out and then left click this one, connect with the redstone to this same line, should work. Perfect. Should retract. Perfect. Now let's say you want to move the lever or put a lever on the opposite side. You just need a the redstone line to hook up to this exact repeater right here. So what we're gonna do is like, say you want it, I don't know, let's say you want your lever all the way out here for some reason, let's say you want it right there. I suggest turning your lever on so you know how far the pulse can reach. So you see, that should be powered. I'm just gonna extend it. Make sure you don't touch anything in the middle because you don't want any of your components getting uh, like wacky because it's being powered by like something it shouldn't be powered by, but you're just gonna keep extending this around. It, as you see, it dies right there. So we're just gonna add in a repeater, should power it on, connect it up, and see, it should close. Let's go back to our lever, should open, perfect, should close, perfect. Now let's say you want your lever on the wall. It's not much different. Let's say you want your wall, I don't know. Let's say your wall's right there, and your lever is right there. Same thing, click it on. Then you're just gonna have your redstone dust here, should turn on. Then you're just gonna staircase it down, it's the same thing. Like so. Should work. Should work. Yeah. Perfect. Now you can just cover this up. Make it look as fancy as you like. Uh, do it. Do what you like to it. Make sure you don't cut off any redstone that is needed. But you should be all set to go. If you didn't enjoy today's tutorial, make sure to smash like, subscribe, and do as always with both studies. Go check out Nomaruka in Leaky channels will be linked in the description and if you need any help whatsoever just leave a comment and i'll try my best to help you in any way i possibly can see you next one goodbye